this session we will discuss break continue and return statement first break so we have mainly three uses of break the first one is simply to comes out of a loop whenever loop is executed based on some condition to comes out of a loop we are using break statement second one is to comes out of a switch statement we are using break whenever a choice is matched with the label we are executing the statements for that case after completion of the statements to comes out of this switch statement we are using break so second one is to comes out of switch statement and third one is to comes out of nested blocks to come out of nested blocks we are using break to come out of switch statement we are already discussed this example in decision making statements now first check to comes out of the loop for example simple for i is equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus system dot suppose if i equal to equal to 5 break system dot out dot print ln of i so the meaning is first to i value is 0 and 0 less than 10 condition is true enter into the body in the, within the body we are checking the condition if 0 is equal to equal to 5 condition false so we already know after if statement if there is no brackets only then the next statement is applicable to that one for while loop or for for loop also for for loop also only single statement after the statement is applicable to for that so if i is equal to 5 for this condition is true we are executing break so if this condition is false break is not executed so this is a fail and moves to next statement in the next statement we are simply print i value so i value 1 is printed next to i plus plus 2 less than 5 condition 2 equal to 5 condition fail break is not executed check with 2 next to 3 next to 4 i plus plus i value becomes 5 5 less than 10 condition is true 5 is equal to equal to 5 whenever the condition is true it executes break statement break statement means simply comes out of the loop so after comes out of the loop for example here the statement system dot out dot print ln out suppose the statement out so 1 2 3 4 it prints out that is the remaining elements 5 to 10 are not executed so the purpose of break is simply to comes out of looping for example we have nested loops that is one loop is placed within other loop whenever we are using break statement we are simply comes out of inner for loop only it is for the purpose of break is to comes out of one loop for example if you comes out of the entire program based on some condition if you want to comes from the entire program we have to use system dot exit function suppose by using this we are comes out of the program but by using this break we are comes out of a loop this is the first case and second case is switch statement we are already discussing switch case example now move to third one the third one is nested blocks so the name specifies one block is placed within another block to comes out of these blocks we are using break generally the break is a labeled break that is a break with a label the syntax is simply break some label whenever a condition is satisfied we are executing break statement and based on this break statement we are breaking up to this label we are breaking up to this label suppose consider an example b1 b2 some b3 block 1 block 2 block 3 for example within the block system dot out dot print ln 
सपोज ब्लॉक थ्री सपोज चेक ए कंडीशन इफ ऑफ एक्स इफ ऑफ एक्स इनिशियली अज्यूम एक्स इज इक्वल टू फॉल्स इनिशियली अज्यूम एक्स इज इक्वल टू सम ट्रू केस एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्रू सपोज एक्स इज ए बुलियन वेरिएबल इफ ऑफ एक्स ब्रेक इफ ऑफ एक्स ब्रेक डी टू ब्लॉक थ्री सिस्टम डॉट ब्लॉक थ्री इज क्लोज सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन ब्लॉक टू डी टू इज क्लोज सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन ब्लॉक वन डी वन इज क्लोज सपोज सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट Print ln out of blocks, out of blocks. Suppose some statements for numbering purpose. So the way of execution is first to enter it initially assume x value as true. First b1 enter into b2, b3. The first statement is system block three. So block three is printed on the screen. Block three is printed. Next it checks the condition if of x. x value is true if of 2 condition is true condition is true means next execute the statement next the statement is break of b2 that means we are break the loop that is break the block up to b2 up to b2 means this is b1 and this is b2 that means we are comes out of b2 that is block 2 is completed we are comes out of block 2 and the next statement is block 1 and after completion of block 1 the next statement is out of blocks so block 2 is not executed because whenever the condition is true we are break from block 2 this statement is not executed this is the usage of nested blocks that means we have more than one number of blocks more number of blocks if we want to comes out of a block particular block we are using break with some label where comes from that label this is break statement simply the purpose of break statement is to stop the next iteration within the loop to stop the iterations and simply comes out of the loop next we will discuss continue statements next we will discuss continue statement the continue purpose is whenever a condition is true whenever a condition is true simply stop the current iteration that means skip the iteration and moves to the next iteration so here simply the syntax is the continue for i is equal to 0 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus suppose use the same statement similar if i equal to equal to 5 continue system dot out dot print ln of i so purpose of continue means to whenever the condition is true initially i is equal to 0 0 equal to 5 condition fail i value is printed i value 0 is printed i plus plus 1 2 3 4 and i plus plus i value 5 5 less than or equal to 10 condition true enter into the loop if 5 is equal to 5 condition is true condition is true means continue is executed whenever continue statement is executed the remaining set of statements inside the loop are not executed that is to skip the present iteration and control moves to the next iteration that is this statement is not executed directly it moves to the next iteration in next iteration i plus plus i value becomes 6 6 is equal to 5 condition fail again 6 7 8 9 10 these are the values printed that is in the series of elements if you want to skip only a single element we are using this continue statement this is output of continue 
Suppose if we are using break in place of continue, the output is simply 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Break means simply to comes out of the statements and no statements and next iterations are not executed. Continue means only the present iteration is not executed and control moves to the next iteration. Similar to continue, sorry, similar to break, continue also looping, sorry, label continue with some label continue with some label for example c1 for example label c1 while some i less than 3 while i, I less than 3 suppose for j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus some statement Suppose label name is C2 within for loop I am writing one condition if I equal to equal to 3 I equal to 3 continue some C2 I equal to 3 continue some C2 system dot out dot print ln of I and some I plus plus system dot out dot printer of J some I plus plus for example I am writing this fashion so first initially I less than 3 suppose initially assume I value as 0 or I value as some 1 I value as some 1 1 less than 3 condition true enter into the loop J is equal to 1 1 less than or equal to 5 again condition is true if j is equal to equal to 3 suppose j is equal to equal to 3 condition false whenever the condition is false this is not executed condition is false this is not executed simply execute the statement system dot out dot print run of j so j value 1 is printed and i plus plus suppose i value is not i value becomes 2 this is not required for our example j less than or equal to 5, 2 less than or equal to, condition false, continue is not executed, 1, 2, next to j plus plus, 3 less than or equal to 3, condition is true, whenever the condition is true, j equal to equal to 3, whenever j is equal to equal to 3, continue c2, continue c2 means, we are skip this iteration, we are skip this iteration and directly move to the next statement. Skip the iteration means so C2. The C2 is not executed. For example, if you are writing I plus plus in this statement, now I value becomes continue and I value becomes first to write I plus plus 1. Next moves to I value becomes 2. This is 1. Next to J value 1, J value 2 i value so 3 less than 3 condition failed that means in the looping in the looping continue means continue c2 means the next iteration that is the iteration of c2 is stopped and moves to i plus plus this is looping control continue variable usually nested loops now the simple statement is return now next one is return whenever a method is called or whenever a function is called we have to return some value to the calling function so return some variable or return some expression that but the expression is after evaluating the expression it returns only single value suppose return 0 this is true return some a plus b so here a plus b is evaluated and the result that is sum of a plus b is returned this is return statement these are the looping and continue break and return statements thank you